Starting off our show today with the first camp location on the list, we are just southwest of the compass located at the very top of the map in the Maya region. Now this camp location is freaking amazing. Not only are you away from everyone so you never have to worry about your camp spawning in, but you also get your very own treehouse that is over a pond. So you never have to worry about dirty water, purified water, and as you can see you can place your camp just about anywhere over here, just don't uh, stick it in the water because as you can see you can't do that. Yep, no way Jose. So what I would do is I'd recommend you setting your camp like right in the middle, that way you can get all this inside your camp. But now let me give you a tour of the main attraction of this area, this little tree house here. Look how fantastic this is. Now do be careful, if you fall off you will die most likely, you know, if you get up here and all that stuff. Excuse you! Sorry, might have to jump right there, it's a little bit stuck right there, but that's fine. We'll just scoot on up, there we go, look at this place, absolutely amazing. Oh, oh god, here we go! Here we go. Now, you can practice your parkour skills up here if you decide to live over here. It's a fantastic location. Look at this. Oh my god. And if you make your way all the way over here, you have your very own bedroom area. Let me just, uh, excuse you platform, excuse you platform, uh, excuse you dead guy. Um, can I have one of those beers? Thank you, sir. And on, onto the room. Here it is. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There we go. Look at here. You get your very own sniper rifle, which is mine now, and your very own bed rolls so you don't even have to place a bed when you do decide to live up here just maybe you know put a tinker's workbench armor workbench you know maybe a house all that fun stuff at this location and you'll be good to go now let me show you one more thing look at this if you have any bad guys just make them walk the plank like this goodbye the next camp location on our list is just east of the north kanawa lookout located in the forest region this camp location is a fantastic camp location especially for beginners in fall 76 because we're extremely close to vault 76 and here at this camp location what i have for you is the little campsite at this area we have ourselves a little raider guy over here and a nice little crash plane that looks absolutely amazing and what this is is a random spawn so maybe it'll be a raider sometimes maybe it'll be some enemies maybe it'll be a raider fighting some enemies i don't know but as you can see um and it actually looks like some ghouls being centipedes or something like that i don't know what the heck is going on here actually um sir are you okay you got a crazy jacket on and everything. You're right. Okay, you, you can have what's yours. But um, yeah, let me just show everyone the rest of this camp. Now, this is the first part. And if you do not want to live over here with this crazy guy and all that, you can actually hop down here. And this is the cream of the pie down here. Let me show. We got ourselves our very own copper deposit. Look at this. How amazing. And we also, if you run over here, you have your very own steel deposit. Can you believe it? All in one camp. Let me show you real quick. There we go, absolutely amazing. Now, if you want the area up there, you may not get both the deposits, but hey, you can try. And to top off this location, you also have some of the best views in all of Appalachia. Look at this, this is absolutely amazing. We have the junkyard down there, as you can see. We have the top of the world up there. We have some energy plant over there. Oh my God, I love this area. Our next camp location on the list is just west of the isolated cabin located in the forest region. Here at this camp location, what I have for you is your very own fishing pond with a random spawn. Here's our random spawn. His name is Jim Bob and it's another crazy. Well, he's not really wearing a straight jacket, but he still looks crazy. Look at that hair, dude, dude. What's going on? You've been doing some rads or something like that, bro? I don't know what you're doing, but I heard he was protecting the area earlier. He was shooting his guns at something. I don't know what the heck it was, but this is the camp location. Look how peaceful this is. And you even have your very own swing. Look at that. Oh my God. Wow. Look at that. Woo. Woo! That's freaking amazing. I wish we could sit in it, but no, we can't, sadly. But that is still really, really cool. Let me just show you your pond real quick. Uh, oh, God. Um, Jim Bob, or whatever the heck your name is, we're gonna need you to come clean this up before they move in. But yeah, this is your very own dock. He's not keeping it very clean. As you can see, you can place your camp over here, or you can place your camp over here, or you can even place your camp over here. Over here, we have some honey if you want it. Look at that. Now, this is a fantastic camp location, full of bees, full of water, and a crazy guy, so I definitely recommend it. Next camp location I have for you is just west of Vault 51, located in the forest region. This camp location is an amazing camp location in the forest region. What I have for you is your very own semi-cave. It's not really a big one at all, but it's still a cave. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. It's like a Lions King Rock. You see, it's not a very big Alliance King rock, but it's still covering us, so that is absolutely fantastic. And here at this location, we have ourselves our very own um, table, which you may have to fix and stuff like that if you want to sit there, but it's still a table. We have ourselves a fantastic tent, which it looks like a death class even touched it yet. We have a table over here if you want to set up shop with your guns and stuff. This is the perfect location. And behind me, we have our very own cooking station, so you don't have to worry about placing one and all that. But this is a really, really cool location in my opinion. Super duper chill. 
and you can actually add a fence all around it that way you're all blocked in and stuff like that but hey you know you may still get some enemies and stuff like that but that's not my problem our next camp location on the list is just south of the rng station located in the savage divide here at this camp location what i have for you is the mysterious guide stones and these things are absolutely fantastic in my opinion and i love camping here because this is the only place in all of appalachia that actually has mysterious guide stones so this is really cool and really really unique and no one ever builds down here so fantastic but not only do you get the mysterious guide stones you also get this beautiful view of appalachia and there's a workshop right over there so if you want to get xp materials this is the perfect camp location and there's layers to this location you can build up here with the mysterious guide stones you can hop down here and build if you want or you could even hop down here but that's not really the camp location now is it if you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more i also made a video over one of the best heavy gunner builds in all fall 76 so if you want to check it out i'll link it in the screen right now you see that that is my full health heavy gunner build